Greetings fellow Husu users, my name is Luis Oscar Maimi and in this video I will be explaining how easy it is to both schedule images using Hootsuite and my app Hootbook. The first thing we need to do is organize the images with both schedules on a folder in your computer. And I'm not talking about dumping all your images in just one folder, no. What I strongly recommend is organizing your folder by year, month, and day. For this example, let's say that we are going to be both scheduling two images per day for seven days for a total of 14 images at different days in September of this year, starting September 12th. So let's create the following folder structure. The parent folder will be called 2016, which is the year that we will be both scheduling Inside the year will be the month, which will be September, and inside September will be the days from 12 to 18, which are the seven days that I will be both scheduling images. In each folder, let's add the appropriate images. Since we are going to both schedule two images per day, the folder needs to have at least two images inside. As you can see, the images inside this folder have a default title, so let's rename the image appropriately so they can be easily identified when we both schedule them with Hootsuite. The title of the image that I recommend should be a title that is related to the post you will be sending. For this example, the picture here is a screenshot of the Hootball app, so I can rename this image to HB app HB app screenshot. I'm going to rename it HB app screenshot. And the other image that you see here is from a kayaking trip that I took in Dorado, Puerto Rico, and that is the Bridge of Dorado. And I'm going to rename that image to Kayak Bridge Dorado. And I click enter and I have them renamed. And I will keep doing that for all the images here. As you can see, I already did that with this one. This Laguna Guaniquilla 1 and Laguna Guaniquilla 2. And I keep doing that for all the days until I finish. So after you organize and rename each image, let's go to the Hootsuite dashboard and open up Hootbug. If you don't have Hootbug installed, go to the app directory here and search for Hootbug using the search uh, bar here and you will get two days free trial. After you install the app, make sure you install both columns which will be the sending ball stream and the time sent city stream. For this example, I will be both scheduling two images per day for seven days starting from September 12th, so I will be using the send in bulk stream. First, in select number of days, I need to select seven and in times per day, I'm going to be selecting two. And in start day, I'm going to be selecting September 12th here from the calendar. And in the times, select the best times, I'm going to be selecting 11.30 a.m. 11.30 a.m. and 6.45 p.m. 6.45 p.m. What this do is that every day the image will be both scheduled at those two times for seven days. So in the first day, the first image will go at 11.30 a.m. The second image will go at 6.45 p.m. And on the second day at 11.30 a.m. the first image, the second image at 6.45 p.m. And so on up until the seventh day. Now when that we set up our days, it's time to start writing the messages. To write a message, go to each Compose message box and type your message. Please note that Hoopball doesn't currently allow to attach images directly. That's why we organize them in folders earlier. What I recommend for you is that you add a comment with the name of the picture as so. So let's type the first message. And in this case, it will be, this is a screenshot of Hoopball Act Streams. And the name in brackets is HB app screenshot, which is the name that we added earlier. When composing the message, uh, keep in mind the character limit for each social network that you can see it here with 64 characters I've been using. But don't worry too much if you go over the limit because of the picture comment, because you will be able to delete it later in Hootsuite Bowl Composer. 
Now let's write another message in message box 2 by clicking here and the message will be an epic picture from my kayaking adventures in Dorado, Puerto Rico and in brackets the name of the image Kayak Bridge Dorado. You will keep repeating the same process for all the uh, message boxes here up until the message 14 and you will click download CSV. So I will do that real quick here. Let me. So I finished typing some things in the message boxes here. So after you write all the messages in the message box, you're going to click download CSV and a file named hb1.csv will be downloaded to your computer. The next step is go to the publisher here and click on Bold Composer. And what you're going to do is select file to upload, upload the CSV that you just created, which is called hb1.csv, which is this one, and you're going to click open. Then you're going to select the social network that you want. In my case, I will select the social network Facebook page of La Panaderia de Don Pepe. And then after you select the social network, you're going to click Next Review Messages. Now here are all the messages created by the Hubble app. Now we need to upload the images to each message manually by clicking the message here and I'm going to media and select an image to upload. The image that I need to upload here is called HB App Screenshot and this will go on September 12, 2016 at 11.30 a.m. So I need to go to the folder of September, of September 12. So I will go here, go to 2016, September and on the 12th, the, app, the, the name of the image is HB App Screenshot and I'm going to click open. And as you can see, the image that you is just attached as part of the message. After you attach the image, remember to remove the comment of the image title from the message so it won't be added as part of the message. So let's do the same process for a second image here. Let's go here and I keep a picture from my kayaking adventure in Dorado and the picture name is Kayak Bridge Dorado and it's located on the September 12 folder. I will go there and it's here on the September 12 in Kayaking Bridge Dorado, which is this image. And I'm going to click open and the image will be attached to the message. Now that the image has been attached, remember to delete the title of the image from the comment. After you review all your messages, it's time to schedule them. You can do it one by one by clicking the message here and by clicking the message and clicking the schedule button below here. Or you can use the check mark here and just both schedule a select number of messages. Or you can deselect the blue highlight here and this box will appear here saying schedule all messages. I'm going to be clicking that by clicking schedule all messages. So as you can see, you are all done and view scheduled messages. I'm going to be clicking that and that's it. You are done. You just post scheduled images using Hootsuite. Let me demonstrate how the image will be published in the Facebook page by canceling a few of the messages. Here is how it will look like. I will cancel this one. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to remove the scheduling and click send now. As you can see, the message is posted, so let me go back to the streams. And as you can see, the image has been attached correctly as part of the message. As you can see, it appears exactly like when you upload an image one by one using the Hootsuite Compose message box. This new Bolt Composer Image Bolt Scheduler sure is a handy tool for Hootsuite power users. I invite you to take advantage of it and if you have any questions feel free to leave a message in the comments below or contact me on Twitter at Luis. Have a wonderful day.